This is an experiment to determine the Planck's constant using LED. Coming to the circuit, this is the DC regulated power supply. What we need is a voltage up to say 5 volt. Even if the source is a bigger one, it's fine because we are going to vary it. This is a resistance, say 100 ohm resistance, just to limit the current in the circuit. This is the LED connected in a series manner with the power supply. This is a milliameter to record the current in the circuit. And this is a voltmeter connected across the LED to know the voltage drop across the LED when the LED is lit up. In fact, this voltmeter can be replaced by a multimeter to have a more accurate reading. This a meter can be a milliameter or a micrometer. We are using this to identify the sharp increase in current in the circuit when the LED lights up. So the circuit is a simple series circuit with a power supply, a current limiting resistor, the LED and the ammeter to measure the current. Voltage is measured across this LED. Now let us have a short discussion about the functioning of LED. You know that LED is basically a diode with a PN junction. When this junction is forward biased, the holes in the P region and electrons in the N region will recombine and become valence electrons. During this recombination, the excess energy is emitted in the form of light. This is the principle of LED. That is why it is light emitting diode. The same process is happening in an ordinary diode also. But there, the excess energy is emitted in the form of heat. In this circuit, we are giving a forward bias for the LED. So, positive of the battery supply is connected to the positive end of the LED. And the ammeter should have its positive terminal here and negative terminal here. So, coming to the experimental part, we will be increasing the supply voltage from 0 volt onwards and we will observe the point when this LED just starts to light up. At that point, you can see that the current in the circuit increases sharply or it will show a sudden increase in current when the LED is conducting or when the light is coming out of the LED. At that point, we are supposed to measure the voltage across this LED. That is, the voltage that lifts up the LED is what we should note down. Then we can say that the electrical energy supplied here is the reason for emission of this particular wavelength of light from the LED. The electrical energy that we are supplying, that is EV, where V is a voltage given to the LED, then EV is the electrical energy and that will be equivalent to the emitted light energy H nu. So, H nu can also be written as Hc by lambda. So, from this relation, we can rewrite the expression for Planck's constant H. H is equal to Ev lambda by C. Here E is the electronic charge, V is the applied voltage or voltage across the LED when it lifts up and lambda is the wavelength of the emitted light and C is of course velocity of light in vacuum. So in this experiment, when you are using commercial LEDs, you have to be careful in taking the value of correct lambda because various commercial LEDs gives you slightly different lambdas for blue, green and various colors. So coming to the circuit, first connect the 100 ohm resistance in a breadboard. Then we will connect the LED 
The longer leg of the LED is the positive terminal. So it should go at the end of this resistor. So the resistor and the LED is connected. I have connected a milliameter to the end of the LED. This is a milliameter of 20 milliampere range. You need a lower range for this purpose. You can in fact use a micrometer also if it is available. I have connected a DC regulated variable power supply as the power source for the circuit. So this constitutes a series circuit which lights up the LED. Now as we would like to know what is the voltage drop across this LED terminal, we will connect a voltmeter across this LED. So these are the two wires. These are the two wires taken parallel from the LED connection and it is given to the voltmeter. The voltmeter can be of a small range, say 0 to 5. Now we will switch on the power supply, DC variable power supply. We will slowly increase the voltage of the power supply so that the LED lights up. Hope you can see that the LED lights up in a very light manner. That is, it starts to light up. You can identify this condition from this milliameter where this milliameter shows a minimum count of 0.5 milliampere. That is, a current starts to flow in the circuit. So what we have to do is, at a state where a significant current flows through the LED or when it starts to light up like this, you have to note your voltmeter reading. So for this red LED, you can see that the voltage across this LED is 1.7. Now I have changed the LED. I have placed a green LED and it is just lit up. At this moment, you can see that the milliameter shows the slightest movement that is it is reading its least count. In this meter, it is 0.5 milliampere. If there is display for the regulated DC power supply, you can make use of it also. But the more accurate reading would be what is given by this voltmeter. So in this case of red LED, it comes to 2.3. It's 2.3 volt. So in this manner, you can change your LEDs and the measurement should be the voltage across this LED at the time when the LED starts just glowing. That point can be identified as when the current starts flowing. That is at least a 0.5 milliampere starts flowing. If you are using a microameter, you can very well distinguish this change in current. So when it starts increasing sharply, stop it and note down the voltage in the voltmeter. That will give you the voltage that lights up this LED and it will correspond to a value that will give you the Planck's constant H. So once again, for a given LED, adjust the supply, DC supply and make it light up the lightest way. Make use of the milliameter to read that point. Note down the voltage in the voltmeter. Coming to the tabular column, for various colors of light or various LEDs, we should have an idea about the wavelength it is emitting or at least the rough range of wavelength it is emitting. And we can find out 1 by lambda. This is just for the sake of plotting a graph later on. In the experiment, we will be in fact measuring this turn on voltage V or V0 for the various colors. And Planck's constant H will be calculated by the equation EV lambda by C. That is joule second will be the unit of Planck's constant. If we plot 1 by lambda versus the voltage V, turn on voltage V, then we can get the slope and calculate the edge from the graph also. This is a sample graph 
where 1 by lambda is plotted against V0 or V the turn on voltage. So, here we are getting the, the various points for various colored LEDs and from the slope, slope here is taken as BC by AB, you can evaluate the slope and use it to calculate H. From the graph, H can be evaluated as E by C into slope. If you are using a multimeter instead of voltmeter, you can expect bit more accuracy for your Planck's constant. You can manage the experiment with voltmeter itself. Similarly, a micrometer will show a sudden increase in current sharply while if you are using a milliameter, you can take it as one division for the minimum count of current. Thus, experimentally, you can evaluate the value of Planck's constant.